Hello, I'm going to be going over problem six from problem set six. So I'm go. So we're gonna have a truck with a load going up an incline of 15 degrees. So I'm gonna start off by drawing. I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw my incline. I'm going to call this theta for now. And I'm going to make it bigger. OK, so I'm going to draw my incline. This is theta. I'm going to draw wheels. And I'm going to draw a box that represents the load and the truck. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to draw the forces acting on the object. So I'm going to have the gravity, force of gravity, which is weight, which is mass times gravity. I'm going to have a normal force, which is going to be perpendicular to the surface. And I'm going to have on the wheels, which acts on the whole thing, a force of friction going forward, which I'm going to call FF. OK, so now that I have this, I have to state which axis I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using Y and X. And I'm going to tilt it so it matches the the drawing. So this is going to be my y, and this is going to be my x. x positive, and this one's going to be y positive. So now that I have that, I'm going to draw two situations, or I'm going to have two situations. It's going to be before the load falls off, and after the load falls off. So for before, I'm going to have that the mass for one is going to be equal to the mass of the truck plus the mass of the load. So now I'm going to state um, Newton's second law, which is sum of forces. We're going to be doing x in this situation equals to mass one times acceleration in x. So in this situation, um, the problem says that it's going to be steady 15 meters per second. So this is going to be equal to zero because we're not going to have an acceleration. So now from this, I can say that the sum of forces, I'm going to add all my forces together. So I'm going to have the force of friction minus, I'm going to find the components of my um, weight force, which is going to be, this one's going to be my x, this one's going to be my y, and this is the angle. So it's going to be sine in this situation because it's opposite. So it's going to be m1g sine of theta equals zero. So now what I'm going to want to do is find the force of friction. So I'm going to just move um, what's subtracting to the other side. So I'm going to end up with force of friction being equal to mass one times gravity times sine of theta. So now I'm just going to plug in my values. I know everything. So force of friction is going to be equal to Seven thousand five hundred kilograms times nine point eight meters per second squared times sine of fifteen. What well, of fifteen? Degrees, and this is going to equal to. Nineteen zero twenty three point two newtons. We have newtons. We know that newtons is kilograms times meters over second squared, which is what we have here. Kilograms 
times meters over second squared. So we know that our units are correct. So now that we have that, I'm going to do the after. So what's going to happen after? I'm going to have mass two is just going to be the mass of the truck because this is when the load falls off. So again, I'm going to do my forces in X. It's going to be equal to mass two times gravity, times acceleration, sorry, in X. Now our acceleration is not going to be zero because um, my weight is going to be less. So my friction force is going to act more on the object. So now I'm going to, again, write the forces. So it's going to be force of friction again, minus M2 times G sine theta, which is going to be equal to mass two times acceleration in X. This is times as well, times acceleration in X. And now I'm going to equal everything to the friction force again. So now I'm gonna have friction force equals M2 G sine theta plus M2 times AX. And I'm going to rewrite this as force of friction equals mass two times G sine theta plus acceleration in the x-axis. And now I need to find the mass of mass two, which as we stated up here is going to be the mass of the truck. So it's going to be mass two equals the force of friction over G sine theta plus acceleration in the X. So we have everything because uh, it's given our, the acceleration in the X on the problem. So our friction force is what we found right up here. So we, I'm going to put that on top. Everything divided by 9.8 meters per second times sine of 15 degrees plus 1.5 meters per second squared, which is going to be equal to 4712. 0.88 no meters, kilograms. So now I have, so we stated that this up here, we said that this is going to be equal to the mass of the truck. So now we have the mass of the truck and we know the total mass because it's given to us. So mass one equals mass of the truck plus mass of the load. And I want to find mass of the load. So we stated this over here. So mass of the load equals mass one minus mass of the truck. So then this is going to be um, 7,500 kilograms minus 4,712.88 kilograms. And this is going to give us the mass of the load, which is what the question is asking, which is 2787.1. 
kilograms. Let me put it on the other side. So this is going to be 2787.12 kilograms, which is approximately 2,800 kilograms.